Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Julia and I do things and today I am sitting in my dog's bed to film this video because my house is a mess and these are my I'm wearing my cleaning clothes today and I really didn't plan anything for this video but I thought that I'd come on here today post my video for the week and today we're gonna be talking about shows that I'm watching or waiting to come out and I've written some down in this book some ideas I'm sure I'm watching or waiting for more series but this is just a, an idea I had to let you know kind of things that I'm waiting for that are coming out soon and some of them are coming out really soon so I'm really excited to share them with you and talk a little bit about them so let's get started <laughs> Okay, so the first one I wrote down here actually already came out. It's a Netflix show. It already came out with season two. It's called The Dragon Prince. Um, and it's made by the same people who made Avatar The Last Airbender. And honestly, really good. Like, I really like The Dragon Prince a lot. Um, season two came out, I think, in February and watched it all in two days. Um, and the only reason we watched it all in two days is because I'm not a very good binge watcher and we both have work. My, my boyfriend and I both had work, but love the Dragon Prince, the animation's great, the story is doing really well, it ended on a horrible cliffhanger again, but I don't know, I'm really a fan, I'm a big kid at heart, and absolutely adore animations and cartoons, anime, everything like that, like, I, those are probably my favorite, I would rewatch shows from my childhood multiple times. <laughs> anyway, the Dragon Prince, I really highly recommend it, it's really good, um, kind of, if you're a fan of cartoons and things like that, you'll really like it. It does have a good storyline. It's a little bit predictable at times, but I don't know. I liked it. I like where they're going with it, um, and I'm excited for the next season. I don't know when that next season, season three, is coming out, but I do think I looked it up on Netflix. Um, sorry, I looked it up on the Interfoot. I do think that Netflix renewed it for another series, another season, so I'm really excited, and I want Dragon Prince season three, so hopefully I'll be talking about that soon. Um, the next one has also finished, it's a series that has finished the series of unfortunate events that they did on Netflix. Um, they finished that this year, they did the final season, and it was such a good series. Like, I, I wasn't sure what to come from it. I know there was a movie many years ago, they made like a movie for the series of unfortunate events, and I've read the book, but um, I didn't know what to think of it and ended up getting sucked into it and the character development and the characters themselves and everything like they did a really good job with the series of unfortunate events and I liked it a lot more than I thought I would um, really would highly recommend that series it's a really easy watch but it's also kind of it's really just interesting um, and the character choices were also great like they were the, ca the characters and the actors were incredible and like especially I think I appreciate any show that has child actors. They were just, they did a great job and I really liked a series of unfortunate events. Um, another cartoon that I watched on Netflix is Hilda and Hilda is very young. It's for a much younger audience, but I watched it merely because the animation is awesome. Like the drawings and the art, oh my gosh, like it's just beautifully done and it is for a younger audience for sure, but it's just, just, the drawing is great. Like, honestly, even if you don't really like to watch cartoons like that, just go watch part of it and, like, take a look at all the detail that they put into the the backgrounds, the scenery. Oh my goodness. It's, it was just, they did such a good job with whoever the artist is for that series. It is amazing. I really highly recommend checking it out. Next, that's actually airing right now, we watch Last Week Tonight on HBO. Um, with John Oliver, uh, really funny, satire, comedy, uh, catch yourself up on the weekly events, like, it's just really funny, and they make fun of, um, they make fun of within reason, like, current events, and it's definitely a satire and a comedy, but, like, it's great. If you haven't seen Last Week Tonight, go into it with an open mind that you are remembering you're seeing a comedy and a satire, but Last Week Tonight on HBO with John Oliver. It's so funny. <laughs> the episodes come out on Sundays on HBO, so you could always watch them there. Uh, next is Game of Thrones. Oh, I'm so excited. So I started Game of Thrones really late to the, to the wagon. I started reading the books in probably 
early high school, like probably eighth grade, maybe ninth grade, I started reading some of the um, the books, but then stopped. Like I just, it was really long. It was kind of, it was a big read for me, um, and I didn't like keep up with the whole series. But it was really good, really well written. And then in college, probably when everyone else was watching season five or six, I started at season one, and then. Um, my boyfriend was like, you need to catch up because we need to watch, I can't remember, it must have been like season, I think we watched, or we're going to watch this season, we watched last season together at the same time, and this season, so I must have been, I'm really, I was really behind, but I caught up like all through college, and he watched some of the, rewatched some of this series with me as well, um, Game of Thrones, man, like what, what else could you say about Game of Thrones, like? There's some serious stuff going down in Game of Thrones, and I am so, so excited. I've seen some of the like interviews with the cast talking about how they're done filming, and seen some cheeky photos of like things that they um, took from set, or not took, but like probably were given from set, or I know um, I far follow Arya's Instagram, and I got to see some of that. and. I'm super pumped for Game of Thrones, man, and that comes out in April, like, it is the end of March, that's real soon, and I'm super excited. <laughs> um, Westworld is a show also on HBO, and I'm waiting for the next season of that. I'm not entirely sure if it's been renewed for another season, I haven't actually looked that up, but Westworld is a robot western alternate universe, reality, apocalyptic, you can't even explain Westworld, but I'm waiting for the next season of Westworld. Really excited for Westworld. It, and it, it's again a show that I didn't necessarily think that I would like as much as I did. I was over visiting Hal's family, and I think Hal had watched the first season, and I saw it on HBO, we were watching something else, and I saw it, and I was like, hey, what's that about? And he's like, yeah, I already watched it, it's about this, and I was like, you can watch an episode of it, and we ended up watching the whole thing in about two days. His parents actually, like, came midway through the series that we, are, we were watching it, I think we had, like, four episodes left, and his dad sat down on the couch and, like, watched it with us, and then his mom came, and they watched it, and we watched, like, four episodes straight, it was great, it was, like, just, we all got so sucked into it, it's a really good show, and it's so, it's got plot twists that you don't expect, like, it's awesome. I would recommend checking out Westworld if you're kind of into that sort of a genre of shows. Stranger Things, yes, the next season of Stranger Things, and the trailer was released recently, and I, I don't even know what to say. It's going to be so different than the previous two seasons, I can already tell by the trailer, um, there, they already said, I remember that there was a tweet after season two that, um, they were giving, uh, a kind of a new, a new look at where this one was going. I'm just really super excited to see what they do. Um, the trailer looks really interesting and doesn't give enough away that you, like, it's a really cheeky trailer. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, also on Netflix, uh, watched the first season. So, Honestly, Stranger Things, Sabrina, probably Stranger Things and Sabrina are the two shows that I went into not expecting to like them. Now, I watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the cartoon, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch, um, the real person show when I was younger that was airing, um, and I liked them both, and I really like Sabrina, but I saw the trailer for it, and I thought it was going to be really, really scary and I don't do scary. I don't do pop-ups. I don't do thrillers. I don't do horror movies. Like I don't do it. Hi Karma. Come here. Come say hi to the people. I don't do scary. I don't. <laughs> like you throw one pop-up in any movie and I, I jump like three feet in the air. You throw a monster or a demon and like I'll get a nightmare about it. Like I don't do scary. You want this? Come here. You can come say hi. Oh, I, need to... I I really really liked Sabrina, and yes, it was pretty scary, and there was some like pop ups and moments that like I <laughs> she didn't even go fetch it. There were some pop ups and some moments that like terrified me, but 
it's pretty good and like the twist that they're taking with it a more evil negative kind of twist than like the perky happy show that that was previously run not on netflix but the other one i'm really excited for it i really am and i think that they're doing a really interesting thing and i'm i'm, I'm curious to see if, if you know how the you put a toy in my face but they took it this like dark direction and I'm really excited to see where they go next with that. The final show on here is actually The Good Place. And any one of my friends, my boyfriend, anyone who knows me and has watched shows or movies with me knows that I don't have the same sense of humor as people. My sense of humor is a little bit younger, childish, quirky, kind of goofy. I would consider myself very much a goofball. Um, and so like my, I don't have dark humor, I don't have like dirty humor, like I don't have a dirty mind, things like that. So most comedies and things like that that are made now aren't funny to me. And I find them really difficult to find funny and I just don't find that humor. But The Good Place was different and I think like they had enough, the cast was really good, the jokes were really good. It was really funny and really easy to follow, but then they throw twists at you and I don't know, I really like The Good Place and they're coming out with another season of The Good Place and I really want to see where it goes from here because it was really good and yeah, I'm just really excited. Um, so feel free to let me know in the comments below like what shows you're waiting for on TV or on Netflix or anything and I'd love to hear about them. Uh, I'd love to have some recommendations of things to watch because I'm not actually watching anything right now. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye. Karma, can we say bye-bye? Come here. Ah. <laughs> say bye.